Welcome everyone to Orange Cast and In Between. I am your host, Eileen, aka Eileen the Little Crafter. Additional information about this podcast show and my YouTube show, The Little Crafter Show, can be found on my website, EileenLittleCrafter.com. Alrighty, guys, this has been a weird, weird, weird day. I know that I am having this particular podcast late. I have started from having a bad day from 5 in the morning to, uh, let's see, I want to say, uh, about 7 o'clock. But uh, my sister from another mission called me. Hey, Lisa Morrow. Just want to give a huge shout out to you, girl. And uh, yes, even though I had a bad day, David is still alive. <laughs> so, okay. So, first off, I just needed to say thank you to everybody who's been subscribing. And thank you for everybody that's been listening in SoundCloud, uh, uh, YouTube, uh where else do I put it? A Tumblr or my website, yada, yada, yada. Any place that you find um, my podcast and thank you. I know that also <clears throat> I haven't been doing uh, my mixed media, mixed media Mondays. I definitely got a camera. So that will be coming up um, very soon. Um, this week, again, it's been loco, loco, loco. So anyway, moving on. All right. So what's the buzz in YouTube land and in crafting world? Right about now, the buzz is dun, 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 the new updates for the Cricut Craft Room. Now, or excuse me, the Cricut Studio. Sorry, it was the wrong word. So basically, the updates, <clears throat> let me rewind and explain to you what a Cricut is. Basically, a Cricut is an electronic, I feel I feel retarded right about now, electronic cutting machine that cuts out words and shapes uh, it not only cuts out stuff, it also draws stuff out. It also prints and cuts. So that's also cool. And when you're writing stuff, when it has, when it draws stuff out, it also can cut it out as well. So there's a whole, uh, kind of learning curve, I have to admit, to doing all that. Um, and there are a bunch of awesome YouTubers that, and Cricut does a pretty good job in giving videos on that. Personally, I kind of feel that YouTubers who do the FYI, um, excuse me, the DIY, are a little bit better in terms of giving <clears throat> you uh, the ins and outs of uh, how to use the software. Um, so now there is this huge, big, as soon as it came out, kaboom of videos about what's different, how this works, where this button is. Um, it looks a little more streamlined. There's a little bit more um, info in terms of like the graph. Uh, centimeters, inches, and that type of thing. You can really customize the virtual mat to fit your needs. Um, you can drag and drop your files. Um, you can so files basically are SVG, PNGs, and all that other stuff. Um, they they give you the information of what what files you can just drag and drop or upload through your <clears throat> using the browser button. Um, now also you can see. Bef- uh, a preview of what your projects actually look like um, in terms of like let's say if you designed like like I designed this cute little Hello Kitty with glasses so now you can actually see the picture before I would have to uh, put it oh Hello Kitty with glasses or like let's say I ever did, did a card for David um, David's card you would only see the words now you can actually see the image so that's a really good thing um, there's no more flash uh, apparently they Adobe and them, I guess, you know, could put, um, so it's supposed to be faster and less errors, uh, of some sort. <clears throat> um, so yeah, so it, it's supposed to be, um, pretty streamlined. Um, and, uh, why is there buzzing? Seriously? Ugh. <sighs> That's what you get for living in New York City. There's always all types of noises. Anyway, um, so it's, Basically, and still in beta, uh, it was a couple of weeks before you couldn't even see the previews. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be in beta. Actually, it's kind of weird because the the announcement came from other YouTubers. It didn't actually come from the official Cricut, whatchamacallit, the Cricut website. Um, so therefore, it was, it was kind of weird for me. Uh, so I had really no clue. Well, thank goodness I actually watch YouTubers who, um, you know, do, do, do their thing on, on the Cricut the Cricut itself. And FYI, there are different types of die cutting machines or image cutting machines. 
which are basically this uh, brother scanning cut, uh, the Eclipse, and I think the Cameo is another one. And I know there's another one, but it eludes it, my name. It eludes my um, my um, my brain for a minute. I did have the list, and I don't know where I put it at. Yeah, it's been that kind of a week. <clears throat> so, um, in terms of like other functions, I have to say when they first came out with this digital um system, I originally liked the craft room. Uh, the craft room seemed easier. Um, it seemed like let's say if you wanted to uh, weld an image together or slice basically um, cut out a shape from another shape that those functions were easier and they were also easier on your um, for me anyways I only have a tablet um, the uh, iPad and iPhone they seem to be easier than the, the computer so I'm hoping they kind of fixed it before so I'm hoping they even improved it even more um, the, in the terms of like let's say with the buttons the configuration of the buttons um, some buttons have been moved around here and there um, but it seems a little bit more um, I want to say natural where your eye would naturally fall at um, it just seemed a, like I said a little more streamlined a little more uh, user friendly um, so I mean I don't think there's a huge um, huge 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 learning curve you just basically um from the old version um if you use the older version but if you do use the if you are a new user you may want to catch um the the new <clears throat> cookie craft room three that's what it's called uh so yeah so this is like the third version of it <coughs> so who knows what what the features hold as terms of like let's say uh oh and fyi you can also and this has been um done for version two uh, you can actually download some projects. You can only download, I think, like, I want to say five or six projects in case you run out of, like, let's say, internet. You know, you're having internet problems. So you download it ahead of time, and then you'll um, print it out. I mean, print, cut, whatever. And then, you know, you'll have your images to, to uh, craft on wherever you are. And then if you have internet, you know, you could just take those images off and then download a few. So it's only a few that you can do. So I, I believe that feature is still there. Um, and in terms of the iPad, you know, the, the apps for the iPad and uh, iPhone, um, they were updated last year. So there are no new updates this time for, for those apps. Um, in terms of the... Uh, not I want to say... Uh, is it Android that's the word Android users I am not fully understanding what's going on um, because I don't have an Android um, device so therefore you would definitely have to um, <clears throat> look up uh, information for that but I, I know that they have finally come up with and I think that was last year so Android users could definitely use it on their tablets and phones so I know that but in terms of if there was any new updates or anything like that on their um, on their side of the, the situation or app um, I have no no idea but I do know that there is a new update for Windows PCs and it's called the studio 3 and in terms of when a new, like a official announcement is going to be made the only official announcement that was made which was really weird and I, I don't know if it's because they wanted to celebrate the the new release of the beta was that there was an announcement in terms of a new a digital cricket um box it was supposed to be and i'm using air quotations a surprise box but they kind of gave the hints of using the different types of images of superheroes basically in kawaii form um and i kind of heard uh, kawaii described in a really weird way and I really wanted to type something out but if you don't know what kawaii is basically it simply is cute adorable and I think it's small but I'm not 100% that but I know for a fact 100% kawaii means small and cute and adorable so yeah I, I don't even remember what that person said I just was like scratching my head going Huh, interesting. Um, <laughs> but moving right along, 
Um, so if you guys ever get a Cricut, I honestly highly recommend these uh, YouTubers who are really good at explaining things. Um, I'm in no affiliation with them at any point. I just happen to really enjoy their videos. So, because <clears throat> I do know that they have a lot of stuff going on, like Patreon and other things, you know, things that are going on. And I just basically like their videos. <laughs> um, so, I just wanted to give you a disclaimer because I don't want people to think, oh, she's just, you know, promoting them or saying that they're good because, you know, she does this with them or does that no I'm no way no form um I do like uh the new the newest one that I work not work on um been watching uh the reason why I say work on because I actually want to do one of her projects that she made recently it was like these uh iron-ons with with the shoes and I think they're so cute I actually want to do some iron-on Hello Kitty with the, with uh camera shoes canvas shoes excuse me <clears throat> Jeez Louise, I can't talk today. Oh, brain fart. Anyway, um, <laughs> moving right along. Uh, yeah, she did something really cute with um, some canvas shoes. And she had some vinyl cutout. And I immediately thought of, oh, that would be cute. I like Hello Kitty. And I thought having Hello Kitty sneakers would be, you know, canvas style would be awesome. So, Auntie Kate is the lady. She's really funny and um, she does a lot of cricket tutorials on Mondays. Um, Craft by Two is another um, really good tutorial person. Two awesome guys. They're funny. Um, who else? May May Makes It is. Um, who else? Who else? And again, I have my list. Uh. Melody Lane is another really good uh, crafter with uh, Cricut. And, um, ooh, Stacy, but I can't remember her, uh, her YouTube channel. I think it's Stacy Makes It, but I'm not 100% sure. Again, I will put the links down in a, on my blog, and I'll put the link down in the description, whether it be a speaker or on YouTube. Um, I'll definitely put all that information up. If not today, definitely tomorrow. I'm sorry, you know, I normally do everything. I try to do everything ahead of time. But like I said, this week has been the one for the crazies. I feel like the universe has just been dumping me upside down. And, and uh, my head is banging down. Boing, 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 boing. Yeah, it's just been, again, one of them crazy, crazy, crazy weeks and crazy, crazy day. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, I made that one up. So, again, the cricket is really cool. They're coming up with interesting features um different types of ways of how to make it easy or easier faster and less you know ways of buggy you know interface use users <clears throat> and in terms of imagery i have to say that you know i would love to see a little bit more kawaii um items um i think that was really adorable um again like i said i haven't heard like an official info video type um which i'm gonna call it on their video and i subscribe to their 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 youtube ch channel cricket um i haven't heard anything from their blog i don't know when they're going to be out of beta so that's probably going to take a little bit of time they just basically were able to give you the previews you know of, of your your projects so i think that happened either today or tomorrow I wasn't 100 percent sure um so it, it you know, it's a work in progress, but it's it's getting there. And it's really fun. You know, the Cricut is a really awesome machine that basically, you know, gives you the ability to craft without so much headache. I, I, I want to say, you know, it, it's pretty quick, simple, and easy. You know, if you want to cut out things individually, you can, you can print it out, which is easier. Um, you know, because I had this one image that I really, really loved. I got it from... And I will definitely link you, you guys to this um, particular seller because her minions were the cutest and authentic looking minions. But to cut them out was such a huge pain because I could not for the life of me hook up my printer and my Cricut and my... Yeah, they weren't communicating with each other. So it was just a huge bomb. I cut it out and I have to say it was adorable, but man, oh man, it was such a pain to put together but the card came out 
amazingly cute and I definitely really was happy about the way it was um so I recently printed it out and <laughs> I should share that picture with you I'm, I just gotta either make it in a, in a sticker or a magnum form I don't know I made that for David and the other cool thing about the Cricut is when you print out a image you can also change the pattern of it so I was able to customize it and make it look more you know for my honey bunny he just hates when I call him that um so I was able to customize it that's another cool feature of the Cricut that you are able to customize colors and patterns um some of them you can buy some of them you know come with your Cricut access the Cricut access has like three different subscriptions um one is just for fonts one is for fonts and uh do, 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 um, imagery and then the other big mama jama is a little bit more a bigger size it's the same amount of fonts it's the same amount of imagery um but you get in terms of that uh, with that a more of a bigger discount so yeah you know you pick and choose and it you know it gives you all the details if you go down to cricket.com and i definitely will um leave you links for that as well <sighs> um so yeah, so I'm I'm really super stoked about having more imagery. I, I kind of see a little bit more contemporary, more, you know, adult uh, type uh, imagery. Um, and if you don't see that, then you can always, like I said, um, Google an image. They have a lot of free imagery. They also have a lot of SVG files or PNGs, whatever, um, <clears throat> that are really, you know, <clears throat> you know, that are really cool that you may want to put on a shirt. You can put it on, you know, whatever. And... Um, and so if you don't find what you're looking for, you know, on the Cricut library, you can always find it someplace else, which is also another cool thing that with some machines, they will charge you f for the imagery that you, you know, your, that you purchased, you know, for cutting out. But for this particular, um, which, um, you know, machine, they don't. Um, and I forgot which one was that. Was that the silhouette? I think it was the silhouette. I'm not, uh, yeah. Um, the scanning cut is, is, is good, cool. It's an all in one, which I'm gonna call it. Um, again, I've watched videos about it. Uh, so it's an all-in-one inclusive machine like what used to be the Cricut Imagine, which don't get me started on that machine. It was a, a awesome machine, huge as heck, but it just ran a boat with a lot of other, uh, Cricut, whatchamacallit, like the Cricut Cake, um, the Cricut Mini. There was another Cricut, what, there was a bunch of Cricuts that just went exploded and they're no longer in the market so that was really sad <clears throat> and i really wanted the cookie cake but i couldn't buy it because i'm not a baker i wasn't you know making a lot of cakes and where would i was gonna peel it uh, my kitchen ain't that big so oh there we go so maybe it was a good thing i didn't get it <laughs> so anyway moving along um the cricket craft room excuse me the cricket studio is really fun um and i can't wait to you know explore it more um and see what the final results are is it easier is it you know um so far you know i i kind of like the fact that you can see you know your project ahead of time um you know so you could like what was that again like what image did i use for that you know in case you want to pick like you know papers like you know to match the, the image you know i'm kind of fussy that way <laughs> as a crafter i mean <laughs> I think we, we crafters are just really extremely fussy and it, we're, we're like that but we love you know doing it um it's a labor of love and fun <laughs> um so yeah so that's about it guys again I have to thank all my subscribers all my listeners you guys are awesome you guys rock it has been such a labor of love even though I may sound crazy I kind of do know what I'm talking about um I enjoy myself and I am just truly honored and humbled and very thankful for all you guys listening um 400 and something listeners i sitting down at lunch and i saw this and i just literally wanted to scream up and down but you know we're in a public place don't want to look too crazy um so i just handed the phone to david like oh did go look at this and then he was just like wow that's great and then 500 or something plays awesome sauce awesome 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 you guys are just killing me and making me so extremely powered and very happy and i'm gonna stop the rambling now so i will catch you on the next podcast thank you for listening and uh as always bye for now oh wait really quick if you have any comments or questions please leave them down below or you can always email me with your comments questions or suggestions at my email address is eileen at 
I leaned a little cough there again. So now it is, I will see you at the next, see you at the next podcast and bye for now.